the loss of a former flame, an alarming health issue, the death of a beloved former co-star. Ashton Kutcher may have built his career on making people laugh, but his personal life has been far from funny. Keep watching for all the tragic details. A divorce can be difficult for children of any age, let alone a teenager. When Ashton Kutcher was 13 years old, his parents, Larry and Diane Kutcher, ended their marriage. Following the divorce, Ashton and his siblings, twin brother Michael and older sister Tasha, lived with their mother and eventually relocated to Homestead, Iowa. Though Ashton has not publicly gone into much detail about his parents' divorce, he did touch briefly on it in a 2017 acceptance speech for the Robert D. Ray Pillar of Character Award at his home state, Drake University. Discussing his own journey as a parent, he tearfully said, When my wife and I had these kids, my first response was, I wanted to call my parents and say, I'm sorry because I never knew how much you loved me. He additionally mentioned his own divorce from Demi Moore and how the event broadened his understanding of his mom and dad's experience. Kutcher told those in attendance at the event, I had the great fortune of getting a divorce because I felt the impact of it, and I felt how much loss is in there and how much love is in there, and that it's not neat or clean or messy. And I understood, finally, my parents' divorce in a whole different way. While dealing with the fallout of his parents' divorce, Ashton Kutcher also dealt with constant stress amid twin brother Michael Kutcher's ongoing health struggle. According to Michael's website, he had a troublesome birth and was notably smaller than Ashton. As reported by Today, Michael was born with underdeveloped lungs, couldn't breathe on his own, and weighed in at only 4 pounds at the time, compared to Ashton, who was born as a healthy 11-pound baby. In his toddler years, Michael explained he experienced developmental delays that affected his motor skills, speech, and vision. Due to Michael's ongoing health issues, his mother took him to see a doctor. At three years old, Michael received a diagnosis of cerebral palsy. When the Kutcher twins turned 13, however, things became increasingly more stressful as Michael experienced heart failure. Along with the grim diagnosis, he was only expected to live three or four weeks. Thankfully, a heart transplant allowed Michael to survive, and he has since used his experience to advocate for disability awareness with organizations like the Cerebral Palsy Foundation. I've been through some very unique circumstances in my life. that have really showed me to, to motivate people on how to survive. While growing up, Ashton was very protective of his brother, often standing up against Michael's bullies or refraining from hangouts if his brother wasn't also invited. As Michael told Today, his twin didn't want to see him struggle in any way, adding, Ashton would tell me, I wish I could take all of this off of you and take it myself. As a teenager, Ashton Kutcher dealt with heavy stress, along with the normal struggles of being in high school. He would partake in normal teen fun, but by his senior year, his antics went too far. One night, when an 18-year-old Kutcher snuck into the school along with one of his cousins with the intention to pull a prank, the duo accidentally tripped a silent alarm, which, to the future star's surprise, prompted police immediately. Though the act seemed harmless, it was not treated as such. And according to a story on the Seattle Times, Kutcher was convicted of third-degree burglary and sentenced to 180 hours of community service and three years probation. In an interview with the Seattle Times, Kutcher said this about his life before the event. I was a really good student and a good kid and didn't get in trouble. The incident, however, changed everything. Kutcher went on to explain, you'd walk down the street and feel people looking at you, like, oh, that's the kid that broke into the high school. But dirty looks weren't the extent of his consequences. Kutcher told the Seattle Times, My girlfriend broke up with me, then I lost my college scholarships and got kicked out of the National Honor Society and the choir and the play. I think it was a lot of uh, time being told that I wasn't good enough. This one-time crime cost the actor, but he ultimately graduated and studied biochemical engineering at the University of Iowa before moving to New York City to pursue modeling. And the rest is history. In recalling the ordeal, Kutcher had this to say, Getting in trouble, learning a life lesson, it straightened me out pretty quick. As Ashton Kutcher's career was kicking into high gear in the early 2000s, though that 70s show star met fashion student Ashley Ellerin through mutual friends, according to CBS News. The two planned on going to a Grammy's after party on February 21, 2001, which Kutcher confirmed with Ellerin in a phone call at 8.24 p.m. He ultimately arrived at her home later than he originally promised at 10.45 p.m., but when he knocked on her door, he got no response. While testifying in court in 2019, the actor explained that when peeking through her window, I saw what I thought was red wine spilled on the carpet. Kutcher chalked it up to remnants of a housewarming party that Ellerin had one week prior and eventually left. 
The following morning, Ellerin's roommate discovered her body. She had been stabbed 47 times. Upon learning this, Kutcher contacted authorities, later explaining on the stand, My fingerprints are on this door and I was freaking out. I told an officer, let me tell you what happened. It turned out that Ellerin's killer was Michael Garzullo, also known as the Hollywood Ripper, who had introduced himself as a repairman weeks earlier. After a lengthy trial in 2019, he was convicted on two counts of first-degree murder for the deaths of Ellerin and Maria Bruno, as well as one count of attempted murder for the stabbing of Michelle Murphy. Garzullo was sentenced to death in 2021. As Ashton Kutcher's career started to take off in the 2000s, he was romantically linked with several women, including Monet Mazur and January Jones. In 2003, he starred in the romantic comedy Just Married alongside actor Brittany Murphy, and their on-screen chemistry was undeniable. The two started dating shortly after they finished filming the movie in the fall of 2002, with Kutcher telling people around this time, "'When we were doing the movie, we were just friends. We just kind of started hanging out more, and now we've been hanging out a lot more.'" The film's director, Sean Levy, also remembered their strong connection while filming and told people, "'From the minute they met, they were bouncing off each other, riffing, kidding around, and laughing.'" Murphy herself said in a 2002 interview with MTV News, He's one of the kindest humans I've ever met. He's an extraordinary person. As much as the two clicked, their relationship did not last long, and they broke up by the following spring. Six years after their short-lived romance, Murphy tragically died in December 2009 at the age of 32. According to the LA County Coroner, her death was caused by pneumonia combined with anemia and multiple prescription drug intoxication. Regarding her death, Kutcher told ABC News Nightline, she was like the person who walked in the room and she was always the first person to dance. I just try to connect to that and celebrate who she was and how she was and not make sense of it. Aside from the difficult parts of his personal life, Ashton Kutcher also once dealt with a particularly painful and alarming health issue while working on a movie. In 2012, the actor was cast as Apple co-founder and tech giant Steve Jobs. To better prepare for the role and align himself closer with his real-life character, Kutcher adopted a fruitarian diet, which according to NBC News is a subset of veganism that means eating only fruits, nuts, seeds, vegetables, and grains. Absolutely no animal products. In a 2019 appearance on Hot Ones, Kutcher talked about this experience. While explaining that he started following Job's lead by consuming a specific type of carrot juice, the actor added, I started just drinking carrot juice, nonstop, like all day long. Two weeks before we went to start shooting, all of a sudden, I had this pain in my back, and through the night it got worse. I ended up in the hospital because my pancreas was crazy out of whack. It was the worst mistake I have ever made. The pancreas pain that Kutcher experienced was a bad case of pancreatitis. Despite his scary stay in the hospital, however, the actor went on to finish filming Jobs, which was released in August of 2013. Talk about method acting. Ashton Kutcher is most known for his role as goofy jock Michael Kelso on the comedy sitcom That 70s Show. The show spanned 10 years, and along the way, Kutcher's co-stars became family. Tanya Roberts played the role of Midge Pinciotti, mom of Laura Prepon's Donna Pinciotti, throughout the series and became a favorite among fans. On January 4, 2021, media outlets reported that Roberts had died the previous evening after her longtime publicist broke the news that morning. At the time, however, Roberts was actually still alive, but word spread fast and many That 70s Show cast members shared their condolences on social media. Kutcher responded to his former co-star's tributes on Twitter, including that of Topher Grace and Deborah Jo Rupp, and announced that she had not died yet, as reported by People. Sadly, on the evening of January 5th, Roberts died at the age of 65. The confusing way in which Roberts' death was prematurely reported to the media, as well as its ensuing coverage, reportedly affected Kutcher deeply. As a source claimed to OK Magazine at the time, overall, Ashton's a positive guy who counts himself very blessed for all the fortune and success he's achieved, but he's also a sensitive individual who takes it badly when tragedy occurs. And this awful news about Tanya has hit him especially hard. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.